This video is sponsored by Squarespace. All right, so check this out. I just got this mic in. It can actually move around however you want. So if you are doing any kind of vlogging setup or two people, or I want to talk while I'm also recording in front, this is awesome. I can absolutely tune these to be either uh, a mono sound or a stereo sound. You can basically connect these in some kind of a Y pattern and get complete stereo audio. This is absolutely insane. All right, what's going on guys? Dan Watson, and I gotta talk to you about this. I actually just got it a couple of weeks ago, been using it like crazy. It is just hitting the market right now, and this might look like a set of rabbit ear antenna, but this is one of the coolest things to happen to shotgun microphones in a long time. And so basically, actually, a couple weeks ago, I just threw out a video going over every type of microphone out there, how I use it, and some of my favorites for each category. So go ahead and check that out. But obviously one of the takeaways from that video is that I use a lot of shotgun style microphones. And one of the reasons that I'm always kind of handheld shooting like this, so having great audio is important, especially because the microphones built into these absolutely suck. But one of the other reasons is that these are the best microphones for filtering unwanted sounds from different areas and kind of picking up sounds in a specific direction. So that is all well and good, but what happens when the direction you wanna shoot audio in is not necessarily in front of the camera? And that is where the track shot comes in and really fixes everything wrong about shotgun microphones. So let's kind of break it down a little bit here. So obviously this doesn't look like your standard shotgun microphone and that's because there's actually two capsules in this and that is really what sets this apart. So it does have like four pre-programmed modes in here, but you can do so much more with it. So your standard is gonna be with the mics pointed in front of you and that is going to be like your standard shotgun type setting. There are also two different stereo modes. So you have a 30 degree stereo mode right here and then a 90 degree stereo mode and you get these nice clicks in each thing. So they got some kind of like ball spring mechanism in there that's really awesome. And then you also have my favorite, which is this 180 mode and that is going to allow you to capture audio from both sides of this. So really cool for like vloggers who want to point the camera to them and then point it away from them. Also, if you're recording something like interviews, being able to record audio from any direction that you want is really cool because typically I would need two different mics. Now I can pull it all off with one mic. So, but really that is just the beginning of what this thing has to offer. So obviously the mic has your standard eighth inch output right here, which attaches right to your camera. They even include a different cable that you can use to your cell phone. So that's really awesome. It also has a USB-C, which you can use for charging it. That's kind of important because this is an internal battery on this. So I've used it probably the longest shoot was about four to five hours. I use about 25% battery in that. Some of that might depend on how you use it because on the back of this is actually an IPS screen. And that is really awesome because it actually goes through your different modes. So you can use it to cycle through all of these different modes that you have here. And you can also trigger uh, like your low cut pass filters and things like that on it. So it's really awesome. Shows you your battery life and everything like that on it. And then you have a nice level control right on the back, smooth leveling. And then something we don't often see is a headphone jack right on the side right here. So if your camera doesn't have internal monitoring in it, plug in a headphone right into the mic and you can get full audio out of that and just kind of verify that there's no issues with your audio recording right on the mic. So let's talk a little bit about how you use this microphone because it's a little bit different here. So you actually have a mode dial on the back that you will use to set your different modes. So if you're recording with the audio in front of you, it is a mono signal, just like most other shotgun microphones. And then when you want to record that really cool stereo signal, you can actually just move these into position. They do click into place. So they have like some kind of ball spring or something like that that's under them. And then you swap that and that basically communicates to the camera that you're recording in a stereo mode and will record everything perfectly. I do wish it did it automatically, but they do have a really cool graphical interface on the back, so really no issues there. I'd say my only small issue is that these are the windscreens for them. I really didn't use them that much. This mic has incredible wind filtration built into them, so even in Florida, in Windy by the beach where I am at, I actually haven't used these very much but they're a little more difficult to get on and kind of pull into place on the back of the microphone to kind of get them to hold. Um, I don't know if mine were just a little bit small, but it takes a bit more effort to actually get them on. So I just got it right there. And then you can 
absolutely get these to filter the audio and wind a little bit more. It does come with two of these obviously and that all comes right into this along with that USB cable for charging and a 30 or 3.5 millimeter cable to go to your phone and another one to go with your camera. But for me the biggest issue was sound so now we are going to listen to the track shot compared to probably the best quality sounding camera mic in existence right now that I have used while I talked to you about how I completely redid my website with appointments and calendars and even the ability to sell products in just one night. So Squarespace made it crazy easy for me to just set up a new site starting with a template, customizable blocks for adding in new content, and even the ability to search through thousands of images to help you guys get started. And there are just some insane tools too for photographers and video videographers from custom galleries that allow you to password protect them, to share them privately with clients, and even the ability to add in e-commerce to sell your products online as well. So I was able to upload my camera guides and sell them straight through the site in just a matter of minutes. There's even a full scheduling system where you can have your clients go and sign up directly for their sessions online. So go ahead and check them out, guys. When you build something awesome, just use my coupon code Learning Cameras, and you can go live with that site today. So honestly, I just really never felt like this mic had the amazing quality I was really hoping for for it, especially with the default EQ now. If I went in and wanted to make this sound a little bit better, I could mess with the EQ a little bit. Right around 700 hertz was a problem for me and then about the 1,000 to 2,000 range. And as soon as I modified those, especially giving it a little bit of oomph in that lower end, it started to sound pretty good. So if you're somebody who gets this mic, plan on putting an EQ on it and that will make it sound a whole lot better. All right, something I don't do very often is vlogging, but if you do, this is going to be one of the best microphones you can get. There's just functionality that you need if you're vlogging that no other microphone is gonna give you. Some of that would be uh, being able to rotate one microphone behind and one in front so that even if I move the camera and wanna show you something over there, I can still have amazing clean audio from behind behind the camera. Also, if you don't have a flip screen, must have mic right here because you can just rotate them around behind you, get your audio levels, and then rotate them back in front of you. So it's absolutely amazing for a lot of vlogging setups. All right, so this is your mic test number one. We are in mono mode right here recording, and this is how the microphone sounds in pretty much the normal situation where you would be using shotgun microphones right in front of the camera, but we're gonna kind of see how rejection happens in this setup right here. So now I've got the microphone pointed to the side. So this is now off axis. You should be hearing it a little bit lower and worse quality, which is typical with shotgun microphones. So this is the advantage right here is that it's gonna be picking up a little bit less from my voice from the side. So now we're recording stereo and this is very different for shotgun microphones. So you can kind of hear how it picks up me in front of it. And then also as I kind of move to one side versus moving to the other, I'm kind of curious if you can hear any of that separation as I'm moving around the frame, but this is gonna be kind of one of those bigger things and bigger differences between this mic and other microphones. All right, so this is the crazy configuration. I've got the mic pointed at me right here. You've got audio coming from the front, but as I turn this thing around, you're gonna to begin to hear how that audio changes and now it is recording me in the back of the microphone. So that will kind of show you some of the differences and how this microphone really separates itself from other microphones on the market. So without a doubt, this is the coolest shotgun mic I have used. Just having the ability of going from mono to stereo to 180 degree patterns, that might be reason enough to pick this thing up. I definitely wish the sound quality was a little bit better. It does get pretty good if you go ahead and EQ this properly. I did reach out to the company and let them know so if they change anything or let me know anything, I'll let you know in the description below. While you guys are there, I really appreciate you guys liking, subscribing, join me. So much stuff has come in right now. I got some brand new unreleased lenses, some brand new gimbals that are not released yet, so stay tuned. There is so much stuff coming up. I'll see you soon in a new video.